Uh, let's start a new plane sketch. Uh, there's also what's called a linear operation. So this is a little bit different. Uh, so say we have some weird shape like this. Um, and then I put some, some weird square shape on like that. I select the base section again. Then I select the section I want to duplicate over and over again. And then over here on this linear op slider, you can actually set the spacing between all the. There's going to basically it's going to make a whole bunch of copies here, regularly spaced. And the spacing is going to be defined by the, what you put in the linear op slider. And this one unit, this relative to the grid, the cell, the cell size in this uh, grid on the ground plane here. So if we just go with one unit as the default, generate linear. It uh, actually computes a set of linear sections here. And uh, you'll notice that actually what it's done is it's scaling the size of the sections uh, vertically with respect to sort of the thickness along. So as it, it caught a little thin piece there, so it made this one very thin. But it's quite larger here, and since it's thinner here, section copied thinner. Probably before I send this out, I might actually put a checkbox in here to enable or disable that scaling. So if you want these pieces to all look just the same, you know, you can do that. I mean, alternatively, you could do that. We can just use the blend operations before. Select, 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 hit E, and then we got a blending there. So this one's actually conformal to the curvature, uh, the blending operation, unlike the linear one, which actually makes all the planes share a common normal. So that's why it looks sort of like this falling domino effect here. Anyways. As mentioned in the last tutorial, the spacing between sections for the linear operation can be interactively adjusted after the operation's been applied. In addition, the checkboxes allow the option for copies to be scaled horizontally or vertically based on the cross-sectional width of the base planar section at each plane.